welcome back to my channel this is ranji raj and you are streaming on the study beast so in today's video i will not discuss regarding any of the topics in any of the subjects but in fact i will discuss regarding few of the reasons why not to buy your final year project that you should not buy your final year project instead you should build your own now i know it's a bit late for me to make this video because next month you have to submit your project but make sure just you have to quick look on this video and the key points that i will discuss and it will not take uh, more than 6 minutes or 5 minutes i will just make sure that i will not make it much longer so let's get started so the first thing is that uh, you should not buy a final year project the first reason is that you will get to know how to behave in a group obviously while doing the final year project you will be in uh, in a team up in a group of two members three members or four members uh, depending upon your uh, faculty decision so it's like that you will not follow the organization practices like in the organization how employees actually coordinate and do the work so that is basically an essential part uh, while teaming up with a group and while completion of a project so as you can see uh, in the sdlc diagram you have from the requirements gathering till the testing and maintenance phases like in the uh, project also you have to do the same practice like one member will do the requirements gathering other will do the design other will do the coding then other will do the maintenance and follow up then testing and so on so these things should be inculcated in each of the team members and it should not be on one particular team member so in the organization also the same practice follow but in a more formal manner so that is the first major thing which you have to uh, inculcate and this you cannot uh, like expertise or you have to gain this up by taking up on your shoulders and you have to do it on your own and so the next point is that you will get to know where you stand so engineering is of four years and it may be like that you have encountered many of these subjects and you have gained much knowledge and so in the final year project when you start building your own project you will get to know how much amount of actual knowledge or what are your main areas of interest whether it is in database java android or some other like stuffs coding language so you will get to know the real knowledge or like what the industry needs from you or what the organization needs from you so those all things will get to know when you do your project on your own instead of buying from a third person the next is that you will improve your confidence thereby now when you do the things it's obviously that when you do these things by your own your confidence level goes on increasing day by day like in every particular scrums it will be increasing day by day and obviously you have to update it your faculty team members so the same practice uh goes into the organization also there not in a week but every day you have to put the uh, daily status what is the status of your uh, project or the activities that you carried out so those things have to be updated to the manager so by doing this practices in the educational or the academic level you will build up an inner confidence on your own and the fourth thing is that bluff free interviews you can have bluff free interviews so that's true if you do the things by your own then you need not worry about the interviewer who is going to take your interview and since in the interview most of the uh, technical rounds are based on your projects like what you did in your final year project how many number of projects you did what coding languages you used the database uh, you used implemented what are the queries and all so if you do these things by your own there is no need for worrying or cracking any of the interviews so in most of the interviews it's like based on a final year project or the previous projects which you have done or the information or the knowledge which you gain from those will help you crack in your dream companies and next is the most important thing that is the documentation obviously you will do your uh, project some many challenges and issues and uh, many knowledge transfers uh, might have took from different people so you have to maintain a uh sheet it could be a excel sheet or a uh word sheet word document so in that all the challenges issues the knowledge transfer which you got from various uh faculties you just have to maintain a diary and you just have to write the activities which you did daily and what all things you contributed to the project 
so this will help out to trace each and every particular thing which you have did from the very first day till the end of your project submission now why this is more important because in the organization you have to maintain a sheet like an excel sheet there more over the things are done in the excel so uh, you will also have a practice of maintaining the excel sheet there are many shortcuts and many more things are there which you need to understand which uh, they will not teach in the final year or any of the years while doing your engineering and you may be thinking that uh, I, i'm a database uh, coder or like a tester so that's not the case you just have to uh, sit in the excel sheet and just have to update all the things so that's for every particular individual out there watching this video so uh, all these things are a must so these are the five main uh, reasons why you should not buy your final year project from a third person obviously that person would be expertise in that particular field so he may be doing these things from years and years and he just may be forwarding the things to you from other person so and you may not have any idea about it how he documented those things and so when the uh, project viva comes and you are the person who is going to be stuck in that so it's a good practice that you do these things like you follow these five things and you should not buy your final year project now this video is uh, like if you are watching this video in final year then i'm sorry it's uh, too late but it's like if it is a good practice if you follow this and especially if it is uh, your second year or third year and watching this video then you have to surely implement this and just have to follow this five things and you have no worries or tension about your placements or regarding any other project activities so these are the five things that based on you should not buy a final year project so hope you enjoyed this video if you found this video helpful please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe thanks for watching this video